Nina Mani, Nai Nari Evi, Mani Na Earthship Inman Valley, Nadlu Tampandi, Nadlu Gana Yatunga Tikandi. Please come and take a look inside our house. As we walk up, you'll notice that the front of the house is all glass. This is the atrium and it's one of the key designs of an earthship. It helps to act as a thermal regulator or a temperature buffer. It catches the sun in winter and helps to warm the house. Um, the house is facing just off due north so it's designed to catch all the winter sun that it can. The roof is on such an angle that it, we are protected from direct summer sun. You can see coming into the front door we've got a beautiful bottle wall under construction at the moment um, and here is the area where our solar battery storage will go. So coming through the front door you can see into the atrium. Please excuse the mess as you go through our house. Um, it is currently under construction so there's stuff everywhere. You can see we've got those skylights installed. Just having a look back on the outside of the bottle wall. The skylights are to allow airflow um, but also to allow some sun to get to the garden bed in the atrium in summer. Um, this first room here is our office. Um, you can see we've got straw bale walls inside the house as well. Uh, the office is currently acting as a storeroom for some insulation. Coming through you'll see we have one of our bedrooms. This wall in the middle um, will divide for the walk-in robes at the back um, and you can see another straw bale wall that's currently getting slip placed on it. Um, past another bedroom you can see the awning windows to help add airflow if, as required um, and you can see all of our bedrooms have fully double glazed windows and doors plus windows that open at the top to allow for airflow. The main reason for that is to allow these earth tubes to function. So you can see one of the earth tubes here. This goes underneath the berm at the back and all the way outside. And this helps to cool the air down to somewhere around about 13 degrees. Um, so by controlling the airflow through those earth tubes we have our own natural air conditioning. Um, the skylights at the top help to ensure that airflow allows that cool air to come through. Um, coming through this side you can see we've got another bottle wall which is currently incomplete and this will be our laundry area out here. And go through into our bathroom, just a one bathroom house. Um, but we've done something a little bit different as you can see to allow lots of light in and also enjoy that beautiful atrium. We have bifold opening windows to open out into the atrium. Coming through into the toilet area now. Um, fairly small toilet area. It was going to house our hot water service when we were going fully electric. We've since decided to install gas. So another straw bale wall and coming through this is our storeroom or our cold store. So this room is designed to stay cool. You can see it has its own little earth tube hiding in the corner there. So very dark and cold room this one. You can also see another earth tube pulling through there goes through into the dining room. So again please excuse the mess. This is what will be our kitchen. Um, a nice large sliding window with a big straw bale window sill. Um, the window slides open so that we can entertain outside and pass things through. Looking through the living room and around into what will be the dining room and our only south facing window which is primarily here just to encapture this beautiful view um, but also these awning windows can be opened to allow some cross breeze and help with ventilation and cooling in summer. Um, so you can see we've got these beautiful 
window door combinations in the living room to allow lots of light in um, but also with plenty of verandas to prevent direct sunlight as much as possible to help stop the place warming up in summer. So coming out onto the back veranda out here we'll just have another look around to the atrium and you'll be able to see the other side of the house as well. So atrium doors at either end are the main entryways into the house um, but we do also have as you can see the kitchen window and one of the dining room windows or living dining room windows there and then coming around under here a large veranda space again this is to help avoid direct sunlight in the summertime and also provide some good covered sheltered outdoor areas um, we're lucky enough to live in a beautiful place and we want to be able to enjoy it um, but we also want to be protected from the weather as much as possible can see that we've got corrugated iron cladding we also have hardwood posts we are in a bow 29 fire area so um, there were quite a lot of decisions that had to be made to meet the requirements of a bow 29 house with what we also wanted to do this is the backyard of our house beautiful views again um, Please excuse if things are a bit wobbly here. I am trying to walk around a construction site holding a camera. So again you can see the tire wall here and you can see all the piping coming out for where our hot water service and gas bottles are going to be located. Um, we were looking at going completely electric but in the end we decided to install some gas. Now we're coming around onto the berm, the earth berm at the back so we can walk up to the back of the house and see onto the roof you can see we've got some sprinklers there you can't really see them very well but those upright posts are for the sprinkler system that we're installing we've got a couple of large skippers out the front as well um, obviously we want to be as prepared as possible in the event of a fire so this berm does have a little bit of extra dirt to be added to it and it will go all the way up to pretty close to where that corrugated iron is at the back of the, the house there. And that's what creates the earth mass at the back that the air goes through when it goes through those earth tubes um, to assist in providing us with that natural air conditioning. You can see I'm just walking over a second septic tank that we've repurposed as a water tank um, so that's our sort of settling tank that allows us to catch rainwater and settle off any dirt and dust before it goes into the big tank which you would have seen at the beginning of this video just coming down the steps on the far side of the house you can see now back over here and you could see the big pile of dirt still to finish filling up our berm and also um, to be used for cobbing and rendering that's still required to be done inside the house. So coming along the back here and you can see this little um, retaining wall here is where our earth tubes come out. So this is a cement and can wall that we've made and there are our little earth tubes. They still have hatches to be added to them so they will need to be screened to make them bow compliant but also so that they can be closed off. And they have um, hatches to be put in on the inside as well so we can control the airflow. So we can go down and look. That's straight through looking into one of the rooms in the house at the moment. Um, and following this wall all the way along pretty much finishes up our tour. So thank you very much for taking the time to have a look at our house.